Okay. No need to customize because ain't shit to customize with Virgil. Mm hmm. I have everything. There's nothing left to try and find. <laughs> Except for the secret. Life so far. Eh, eh, unless you want to count like secret missions and crap like that, but that's not why we're here, folks. Yeah. Well, that's a good solid playthrough as B, or Virgil B. Yes. Technically, both are true. God, spoilers! Oh, wait, never mind, not spoilers. We've already been in this <laughs> DLC. Excuse me! Alright, <laughs> All right. where the hell am I and what the hell am I doing? Uh, in the... You just got done fighting the giant cockroach in the junkyard. Oh, right. Eh. Come on. I'm... Yeah, I recognize that move. That's Sir Spamalot from fucking UMBC. <laughs> yeah, come on, let me get the freaking thing. It's not gonna let me get the thing. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying. To... Of course, it's not gonna give it to you. You gotta earn it. Earn it, my ass. <laughs> uh, wrong thing, but yeah, man. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. So, so Agi had some fun, and she's like, "Oh, hey, have you ever heard of um? Oh God, what the fuck did uh, Food Wars? Yes, <laughs> it literally ruins. It, it's a bad cooking anime that ruins cooking anime." <laughs> She showed me half of the first episode, and so there's like, there's a girl getting attacked by squid, squid peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, you have my attention, good sir. <laughs> it's a bad, it's a, it ruins cooking anime for people who actually <laughs> enjoys that shit. Because there's actually various cooking anime that can teach you how to cook. Mm hmm But, you know, again, there's... There's also like you know the more fantastic cook kind of classify this as like it's not it's not meant to teach you anything it's supposed to be like a fantastic thing kind of like um no no actually it, it is actually supposed to teach you how to cook well uh, again I've seen half of a episode kind of thing <laughs> but no I was meaning something like fantastic like Baki the grapple where it's like yeah I mean. Like, cer certain shit of that's true, but it's like, you're also not gonna rip somebody's nerve ending out with your finger kind of thing. I mean, it is probable, and like, hold on for like two it's seconds. Mm. You know they don't listen right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know they don't listen right. <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, but yeah, no, I'm not saying it's impossible to rip someone's nerve cord out. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, like, having the precision to, like, split through the muscle and pull the nerve and only the nerve. Yeah. I call bullshit. Yeah, that is, a, that is outright bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, again, it's like, it's possible, but it's bullshit. <laughs> must run through these halls even though sp they specifically tell me not to they can't control me because <laughs> I'm motivated I'm the prince of all saints <laughs> uh, I mean you are the Vegeta in this situation here with your stubborn pride <laughs> and <laughs> what's your point <laughs> mister oh I'm fighting I'm on this hot and Insanely difficulty hard level in RE0 getting my teeth kicked in, you know, Doss. You can always drop the level just a bit to save, to, you know, save time and we can move forward. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> and then it usually pants me right, getting. We'll and then it usually pants the Doss throwing me through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you could just take the easy route. I'd rather die. <laughs> Is your pride really worth sacrificing my patience, sir? <laughs> or even better, <laughs> or what was it? Take the easy road and fucking what's that like a bitch or draw twenty five? You see Doss holding a fucking hand. <laughs> it ain't 
take what's out like a bitch. <laughs> like, take the ease around him and get more progression. Or draw 25 because... <laughs> or draw 25, like Dosh drawing like the entire fucking deck. I refuse. Exactly. <laughs> you know, puts out like a bitch. Like, it's just because you don't want to just... Seriously, progression man! He killed well, me with this. You're gonna make progression, it's not a big deal. I just, we I got, got slapped. I got slapped, I got hung up on something. Yeah. <laughs> geometry, God. man. Geometry. Yeah, geometry. And sneeze at. I got the orb right. for it. I'm good for it. Yeah, no, we'll make, we'll make progression. It's not a big deal. We've got a little side project sit there and hold over until it's done. And I'm already working on the backside of it to fix it. Yeah, yeah, you think you prefer some working on your backside? I'm not gonna say no to that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Get me a nice little Asian number. Just like, uh, yeah. Damn it, now I'm thinking of Charlie's Angels. <laughs> or Tim Curry. Who's in Charlie's Angels? Uh, be specific when you say Charlie's Angels. Which variation uh, are we talking about? I think this all is the Lucy Lou one. Uh, Lucy Lou, Cameron Diaz, and yeah. I, I can't. Tim Curry was in that movie. He was temporarily. It wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't a big role, but it's like they had to get information from him, and so Lucy Lou was like walking up and down his back in a fairly painful and seductive manner at the same time. I mean, have you ever had somebody walk on your back? Well, depends. It was like. Did I pay them to do it? No. Did it happen? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Story time. Um, you are familiar with bar fights, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. The end. That's the end of the story. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> that's... Yeah, and... Well, that's with a long story short. The end. <laughs> Oh, what was it? God, that reminds me of that one, um, there was some picture, like, rolling around the internet for a minute, where it's like, you know, have you ever been in handcuffs? That was something on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Uh. Anyway, and it had, like, Snoop Dogg, like, uh, and three other, like, female guests, and, like, Snoop Dogg, uh, said yes to the question, and then one of the female guests said yes to the question, and everybody's like, you were in handcuffs? It was like, did you get arrested? It was like, that wasn't the question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were free free. <laughs> like Snoop and Ellen. I mean, they kind of have a good dynamic with each other. Yeah, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of Elle, just mostly because it's Elle. <laughs> and I say that not in any relation to whatever preference, blah, blah. It's more the fact that it's just I don't much like her as a person. Hmm. From what I see, I will state that just as I see it. <laughs> as is long, 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 <laughs> long ass hallway when we're underground in this subway station or whatever. Mm. I honestly do not envy whoever has to clean this shit up. Oh fuck yeah! Like, I, I hear that because you know the janitors ain't gonna get paid for that. Shit and me. Hmm. Like, hey, we need you to clean this up. See me give you my resignation that day. Fucking A. Isn't there a big, like, co-op fight in this section, too, usually? Uh, not in this section. Different part, but yeah, I, I see where you're getting at. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember that. It's like, I could have swore somebody's like, yeah, somebody's up top, somebody's down below kind of thing. Hey, boy. As he's getting swarmed. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just fight my way out. Now that's a good Doss Wiggles motive right there. <laughs> I mean, I can't even remember, like, the actual devastating moves that I like to bullshit really. Eh. Well, I know you got your, like, uh... It's not judgment cut, but the one where it's like you basically like cut reality. That is judgment cut. No, it's a judgment cut. Yes, it is. Hmm. I thought judgment cut was like um, the one where you fly forward and slash. That's rapid slash. 
Yeah. Uh, Kenny, you're more familiar with Virgil than I am. I'm just saying that out loud. No, I'm more familiar with what people do in freaking NVCI. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom. Alright, that's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they did base it on something, granted mostly it was DMC3, which I wanted to play through that the other day, and I, I, I stand by my statement even more now than I did then when I said it, that fucking DMC5 is just a wired down DMC3. Wow, you figured that all on your own, Pumpkin Man? Did somebody help you? I, I said this before. I just stand by it more. Because there's other shit that's just more similarities. Like, what the fuck is this here for? <laughs> Like, 90% of the game is, like, you climbing a fucking tower. Climbing a fucking tower, too. It, it literally, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda is some rehash shit because, uh, hey, Virgil decided to actually follow through with his plans this time. Mm. Well, I mean, there, there are a few elements missing. Like, for example, there's the manipulative clown is not in this game. There's no one that fills that kind of hallmark. I don't know, we can call Nero the clown. I mean, I guess, but not really. Like, you get what I'm saying, though. There's there's no antagonist besides Virgil in this, basically. True. Like, that's, like, the biggest difference. Well, is, like, half of Virgil than actual Virgil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where in the first one it was like Virgil, Virgil, fighting the clown guy, and then full Virgil. Or powered up Virgil, however you want to go about that. I can remember my goddamn moves. Oh, I'm going to a lot. <laughs> well, there's one. Piece by piece, man. It's coming all together. Besides, I have twice the homework right now. Because I have to finish TMNT. Now you gotta... Technically, you could do that now? I cannot, actually. Because you don't have this with you. Yeah, I'm traveling light right now. But yeah, no. That and, like, I would need to stream it, too. And, like, I'm, not, I'm on Wi-Fi right now. And I wouldn't want to do that with that. What's this? Das is a Wi-Fi warrior now? For shame. For the day. trying to do but I'll take it <laughs> I mean I'm kind of stuck doing this move until I actually go back and look at the other thing which just annoys yeah, me now I, I suppose <sighs> yeah, I'm about DMC3 right Doss? Uh, yes like I said because like again I pointed this out on an earlier stream that you know DMC5 is just more or less a watered down version of DMC3 well like, more, it, it, more it's like all the same fucking points unless you want to count DMC4 <laughs> DMC4 at least brought something new to the table with Nero and like it didn't rely on Virgil like this entire game's premise relies on Virgil Hell, the entire story of the fucking game was set in motion by Virgil, so. <laughs> because he was so motivated. Yeah. Which, yeah, I like that though. Like, he, he takes the game to fuck off, and then is like, alright, I'm back to be fucking, you know, main antagonist again. It's like, 
the fuck, dude? <laughs> if you had that much motivation, where were you in for? Oh, hey, man. Right, you your rocks off. <laughs> I mean, hey, I had to progress the series in some way or form. <laughs> this woman went to see the full power of Sparta's son. I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> I had to give her, uh, I had to cut her to the quick and more ways than one. <laughs> I had to show her how motivated I was. <laughs> oh, DMC 1 and 2. Virgil wasn't in those ones, I think. Yes, he was. Uh, uh, stand by, I, I got those. He is actually in DMC 1. It's just he's not known as Virgil. He's a uh, Neo Angelo in that game. Mm -hmm. um, now, DMC 2 takes place before, or takes place after 1, but before 5. And yep. as far as memory serves, I think that's the only game where there's no real mention of him slash Neo Angelo. Now, well, I can be wrong on that one, but as far as I know, that's true. He slices, he dices, he Juliet's in Supremes! <laughs> Well, it, well, it's not. Uh, there, it's not exactly explained out why. Like, it's one of those. Like, you kind of got to read between the lines on a few things. Ah, like, bitch. um, double jump. So Neil Angelo is Virgil. Shows up, yeah, is Virgil. But mm -hmm. I, think, I think he's like a contained vo version of Virgil. If memory serves. Three was like the it, first in, in the series. No, 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 no. I know three was the first in the series. The and first then. Time you see yeah, and then Virgil basically gets taken over by Mundus and turns him into Neil Angelo. Oh, okay, is that was the story. So it is a yes, contained is. version of Virgil. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, um, because I think you fight Neil Angelo like three times in DMC 1. And, like, he's actually, like, one of the harder bosses to not cheese. Clarify, to not cheese. I mean, you can cheese him, but that requires more effort. Well, no, I'm saying is like it, the battle's way easier if you cheese him to death. No shit. Any battle's that's, easy when you cheese him to death. Well, that but that's what I'm saying though. Is like if you try to fight like normal slash super sick style or Dante or however you want to phrase that, like <laughs> super Neo sick smoking style. All right. Yeah. Like Neo Angelo gets a lot harder real, real quick. <laughs> or a variation of Virgil, in, except for DMC four. No, no, well, where does he show up in 2 is my question, then. Um, because remember in 2, you still fight a Neo Angelo, but not the Neo Angelo. He's still a variation of Virgil, as well as Griffin, Nightmare, and Shadow. Literally, if you paid attention to V, those are the actual names of his familiars. Uh, I suppose, well, no, I knew that's the names of familiars, but it's been so long since I played 2, I forgot that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's like a there's like two different versions of Neil Angelo in the in five that we're currently in. There's the um, well, they were coming up to the point where you fight them anyway, so I'll give them a minute. <laughs> yeah, really. There's like the there's the uh, weaker version and the stronger version. The one Dante fought was in DMC one. That was the stronger mm -hmm. version of Neil Angelo, and then the weaker version actually showed up um, later in the series. When you, yeah, be technically in two, when you did fight Neo Angelo, you didn't know it was Neo Angelo. Oh, okay. Well, like, it's been so long since I played two, but it's like, it, two is like, again, that black sheep where it's like, everybody skips that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people don't really like two too much. I have no problem with it. Well, like, the biggest thing that I hear against is the fact that, like, the guns are way too fucking strong in that one. Uh, the sword play is downplayed, and the story doesn't make a lot of sense. And not to mention that, um, in order to switch weapons, you have to go to the start menu to switch weapons. I'll take your word on it. You, you've played more DMC than I have. Yeah, you actually have to hit start, go to the menu to manually change weapons. No quick change on the fly like we got here these days, boys and girls. Mm. Mm, who's you? Hup, 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 hup. 
Yeah, you see these these are all yeah, Proto Angelo, that's what it was. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you get Neo Angelo, Proto Angelos, cause the big guy with the sword, that's Neo Angelo. The guys with the shields yeah. are Proto Angelos. Those are the technically weaker well, variants. Right, all right, now I remember you talking about that now. Mm-hmm. Well, then I'm talking about that to be clear, but yes. But then again, there's actually a fairly, fairly large chunk of DMZ lore if you start digging into it. Like, there's there's that, then there's the supplemental stuff, then there's the anime, then there's the manga. There's well, the anime actually does correlate between three, well, if you want to go actually story, pr proper story, though, three and one. Because that's where, because mm -hmm. Trish and Lady are in there, but Lucia isn't. Because mm. two would actually be in the later end of the spectrum. Yeah. It's supposed to be between one and f no. Well, the original was three, it's one, after two. Four. Yeah. You wanna know the the what the anime? No. Oh no, I'm talking about the games. As far as I know, it's uh -oh. three, one, four, yeah. two, five is the order, I believe. Yes. It's three, one, four, then five. Well, four, two, then five. Yeah. Like, like, the DMC line is very fucked up. <laughs> I mean, if they did it in proper order, it would be a whole different thing. Well, yeah, but it's like, nobody was expecting 2 to turn out like it was. 3 was, 3 was like a return to fashion. 4 was like, alright, well now that we've returned to fashion, let's actually move the plot forward. And then 5 is 3 again, which, that still just annoys the shit out of me. And then somebody gave up with the argument too, where it's like, oh, you're saying like five is basically a copied version of three? It's like, yeah, it's like, so it's copying the best games where Ergo, it's, it's a good game. It's like, I mean, by mechanics, sure, by story, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and. Like, part of the thing that makes the DMC universe interesting is the spectacle. It's like, if, it, it's like watching the same amazing show back to back. You know, and it's like, it, no. it doesn't matter how good the show is, when you have to watch them back to back, you're sitting there like, alright, what, I just saw this guy, it's like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like if Doss watch Trigun every day, all day, all the time, is gonna lose its luster. Exactly. Uh, I think there will be a DMC six. Oh, five made definitely, too much money. definitely. Yeah, five. five made way too much money. Def <laughs> it's definitely going to be a DMC six. Even I can tell. Hmm. And that and Dante is too hot of a character to walk away from. Like Dante, Nero, and Virgil. Since technically all three of them are now fully active in the universe, and it plus. Again. Uh huh. Like well, officially active. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean, but carry on. Yeah, since... Oh, then there's this guy. Oh, wait! There's more! <laughs> ah, he got me with... He got me with the counter. Okay. That one hurt. <laughs> oh, this wiggly arms guy? No, it's... Pro... It's Neo Angelo. In the pro... Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. I actually had to look at the screen ball. Ah, uh, yeah, because he has armor, mm -hmm. and armor hurts. Yeah. Just like in DMC2 when you had to fight him. <laughs> DMC2 had fucking, like, a bunch of weird bosses, too, because, like, I'm, I only remember a handful of them. Like, I barely remember fucking, I, well, obviously I didn't remember Neo Angel at all. I remember the ball and chain guy, and I remember the dragon that would be flying around the arena. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget about I, the helicopter enemy for whatever reason. Yeah, and there was, um... Damn. Oh, no, that's DMC. I'm thinking of DMC for one of them, too. That, like, that's the bad part. Damn. Like, DMC 2 is kind of forgettable. The... Ooh, no, not that. The would-be reboot of the series. And again, it wouldn't have been bad if they just didn't call it DMC. Right, Team Ninja wanted to make a Devil May Cry game. Yeah. Like, 
Honestly, like, a bunch of the mechanics in the game were halfway decent. Like, there are some things they could've fucking, like, straight skipped over. So, like, um, the, uh, Heaven and Hell alignment weapons? Like, yeah, if, if they stuck it with something like that, kind of going in there, it wouldn't be as bad. Well, what I was gonna say is, like, the fact that, you know, only... Only heavenly creatures can be hurt by heavenly weapons. Only hellish creatures can be hurt by hellish weapons. It's like that doesn't make any no. sense to me. If you flipped it, the uh, if you flipped it, basically ki kill the angels with the demon weapons, kill the demons with the angel angel weapons. That works better.